What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Can you say snow? <laughs> Coming back at you with some more for honor. Again, we don't actually have some gameplay for you today. Honestly, after playing the testing grounds, my brain was just like, I, I, I need it in my life. And playing the normal game just doesn't give me that, uh, that dopamine hit that I'm looking for in video games. So I decided to go ahead and revisit a uh, old tier list that I made, uh, you know, almost like three years ago, more like two and a half years, to be honest. But uh, and that was the For Honor fashion tier list. And that was that was the first one that kind of set that trend of when I uh, made like a bunch of those videos. So uh, in general, I'm not going to go like back to making like a ton of tier lists, but you know, if this vid, if, if, if this vid gets like good support and you guys want to see more, then I'm more than happy to do it. So if it gets like, you know, I don't know, 3K likes or something, I'll make some more. And, uh, you know, if it gets, you know, we'll just say uh, an A Lamau number, if it gets uh, 6,900 likes, I'll make another one of those uh, rating every execution in, in the game. Uh, that one last time, I think it was the top 202. 228 emotional farewells in For Honor, and that was about two years ago. So we've done, uh, we've definitely had some more added to the game in those two years, I would assume. So that list is gonna definitely be changed, and that would be a very long video. But in general, I like doing these uh, these videos. Um, you know, sometimes not playing the game but finding content within the game is is fun for me. So I wanted to revisit this since like my tastes have probably changed over those past three years. I'll put a link to the video if you want to see it, and you can just see like, wow, that's what he thought back then, and this is what he thinks now. Obviously, we've had new characters, new uh, fashion has been added, and, uh, you know, just, I, I don't know, my overall tastes have changed, so um, that's basically what we're going to be basing on. Obviously, when we do these things, we rate them on an S to D tier, D being dog shit, S being super sweet, and we're going to go through the characters. Obviously, I don't have, like, the legendary gear on every single character. I, you know, I have no life playing this game, but... You know, not not to that extent, to be honest. So if I can't show off some of the nicest stuff and I might rate a character low, uh, I do apologize. I'm just a dude on the fucking internet, right? My opinion doesn't really matter. But I just wanted to make this video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Uh, like I said, drop a like if you do. And, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and get into it. We'll start off with the D tier. And starting off in the D tier is going to be Raider. I think, yeah, it's close. But Raider might have the worst fashion in the game. Don't get me wrong. Like, he has very, very minimal things that are, uh, like, decent. Like, I mean, come on, look at Kaka. That just exudes alpha energy, but uh, in general, you know, he he doesn't have the greatest things. It's like, hey, do you want some bones on your face, or do you want some sort of variation of metal, or do you want to wear other people's skin? You know, it's just just in in terms of uh, things like this, I just I'm not a huge fan of it. Like. Uh, it, the Vikings in general kind of get shafted, I think, a lot of the time. Like, who who wants this? Who wants that on their face? No one, right? Um, they did tease some, like, actual armor and stuff so that could be uh, better. Uh, I think the weapons might be the nicest part that he gets. But, like, in general, too, his chest is really, do you want ropes or do you want ropes or do you want leather or perhaps more leather or more rope so i don't know raider is just in general i just I, the fashion's kind of weak it's sad it's sad too because he deserves more next up in the d tier is going to be the jormungander uh you might find it a little bit of a trend in here i think the vikings don't really have generally good fashion across the board not to say that they don't have like good fashion in like history or whatnot but like uh, i don't know yorm yorm to me is just it's just chalk face do you have eyeliner on? What's going on there? Why, why, why don't you have shoes too? What, who, barefoot? Are you kidding me? But uh, yeah, you don't really see too many worms that stand out and you're like, oh, that fashion's pretty sick. Uh, they have some cool, you know, like weapons again, but uh, in general, Yorm is, it's just, you know, it's a character that you look at in the game, in my opinion. Next up in the D, we have Shaman. Again, I don't know why the gear inventory goes past 60. I don't have an answer for that. Uh, you people might uh, be, why did I say it like that? Uh, you guys might be uh, assuming like, oh, just because I'm Reputation 1, I just, uh, that's why, because I haven't unlocked anything good. I will admit that there is some like decent like hairstyles and whatnot that you can get on the Shaman, but I feel like 99% of the people end up using that freaking uh, the devil shaman look, and I personally don't like it at all. So that's the main reason. Again, the the weapons and the, the chest piece chest pieces don't really stand out too much uh, in general. I mean, it's it 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 doesn't stand out because it's like a shaman, right? It's gonna be like a lot of bones and skulls and whatnot. But in general, in terms of the fashion, I just think it's kind of uh, kind of weak in. Uh, my personal opinion and the final character we have in the d tier is shinobi shinobi has just always had garbage fashion in my opinion it's just it's just not good uh like what is that what is that face oh my goodness uh, i recently had to get him to you know reputation 7 so i do have a little bit more and, and just in general i mean like the head pieces aren't anything really impressive uh the chest pieces again aren't anything impressive at all i mean it's 
very very basic just cloth and maybe a couple spikes or some like tools or whatnot on there uh you can get some cool like weapon designs on these uh and i kind of like how the weapons are like shaped but in general shinobi it's just he, he gets shafted in a lot of ways and i'm gonna be real with you fashion is definitely one of them next we're moving into the c tier c tier is obviously not the greatest but they are better than d like you can make some good outfit combinations and uh you know sometimes you'll be, you'll see even one of these characters and be like oh that actually looks pretty good and uh, i can definitely say like when i've played certain characters in here people have been like oh yeah that actually looks good so uh that's kind of the basis on here but it's not like super uh pleasing to say the least so first up in this list we're gonna go with the peacekeeper now peacekeeper is kind of one that i had on the fence between like uh c and b because i think she has been getting some really like cool stuff lately and i don't i don't really have any of those ones to look at but i know she's gotten ones that are like the the cool like half black half white masks uh the cool uh like skull mask and whatnot i think her her like helmets are probably the coolest part of the character the daggers are a little underwhelming and the chest pieces themselves are kind of meh like i i do remember though that the the one that has the gold skeleton mask that chest piece has like gold like trimming all out through all of it and that looks really really cool so you definitely do have some good pieces of armor on pk but i don't think it's like a ton to put her up anywhere higher next up in the c tier we have the conk honestly he moved up from the d tier and but still i don't think i've really seen too many aesthetically pleasing conks uh the, the, there's some cool shields that he can get don't get me wrong but the rest of him is kind of dookie i've never been a fan of like the type of helms that he has uh obviously i know it's for that aesthetic but i don't really like his helms uh even the ones from you know i've seen plenty of rep 70 conks in this game so you know trust me i've seen what the helmets look like as i'm getting bashed in the face uh but like some of the shields are actually really cool you can see the designs on them just from like some of these uh, uh event ones and battle pass ones they actually look pretty nice uh so that that that's a big item and it stands out so that's why he gets at least c um but yeah conquer has just never been like super good and his like flail doesn't look that great in my opinion like his 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 chain shit doesn't uh ever look too like you know it doesn't stand out with like color or anything next up in the c tier we have warlord now uh i think i actually had warlord in s tier before but i don't know what i was thinking because warlord's fashion's not that good uh to be real um he's got some you know cool helmets and stuff with changing the beard but other than that like the the helmet itself doesn't look that that crazy and some of them are, are kind of weird you know uh some people put this one on and make him his face like all green like the whole hulk, hulk or something um his 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 main i guess uh nice thing that it, uh, he has is his weapon and shield uh, again like the chest pieces are, are very standard what you see from uh from the vikings in this game you might see some pelts some straps belt buckle type things etc uh and the the weapons can be kind of nice though like the weapon and shields obviously and they're a, a relatively big part of what you see on a warlord so you can see plenty of them and like just in general like you know shields they're obviously going to have some that look good and you can make some good loadouts on warlord so i couldn't put him in d he definitely is about c for me though next up in the c tier we have the valkyrie now i've had pl plenty of people say that my valkyries look good and i i you know i i agree i think valkyrie has some nice stuff uh main issue i say her helms fucking suck for the most part um if i went to look through these the only ones that i really like are obviously the frig helm i think is her best uh the eternal grace helm is pretty good as well as the i think it's like the ear helm right here that has the wings on it these ones are good a lot of her helms look terrible why do i want to look like a freaking kraken what is this am i a dinosaur it's just not that good uh and then some of her chest pieces are also pretty bad i've never also been a fan um with some of the chest pieces that give you the like i don't know the ugg boots action on there i've never been a huge fan of those even if it is exposed by i'm not not too into that uh weapons look decent and so do the shields but you know for for having just like only a couple helmets that look decent and to me a couple chest pieces that are decent i i think you can't put valkyrie any higher even though you can make some pretty nice outfits next up in c tier we have the hito kiri uh hito kiri does have some nice stuff don't get me wrong my personal favorite is probably the one that uh makes them look like obito from from naruto the hobito kiri as i like to call them i don't think i have that helm but uh some of the other helms are pretty pretty lackluster i mean the antlers are kind of weird in my opinion and, and these are cursed and that's cursed too uh definitely have some cool axes though that you can have uh chest pieces are very standard a lot of these a lot of the chest pieces in general i feel kind of are kind of not the greatest in for honor i think that's that's one area where they could do some improvements uh but they they usually get 
uh, weapons down uh, relatively well, so you can get some really cool axes. And I think some of the helmets are pretty nice, so that's why they're in C. But like the rest of them, it's like it's like you see it and you're like, oh, okay. You might see one that's decent, but at the end of the day, it's nothing special. And finally, up in the C tier, we have Shigoki. Might surprise some of you guys. I don't know what I had him in my last video. And he is one of my mains. Uh, I definitely, again, think that you can make some good outfits. Like, I think this is a good outfit. But uh, a lot of, in, in general, a lot of his helms, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, I think this is probably his best helm, the, the Inugami. Um, but he has some some other decent ones and some other ones that are just, <laughs> as you can see, not the greatest. Uh, he, he has some very strange ones that I've never been a fan of like these tusk ones and uh, nose mustache i'm not a great fan of and you know different colored beard so he he has some weird ones that i don't really like and i find that a, a lot of his weapons i don't end up using some people might like them but I, I don't think that they're super great um chess pieces again too some of them are very very basic similar he's got the exposed chest which is definitely why he's not in deer in deer <laughs> d tier uh that that's couldn't put him in there just because of that, but uh, you can definitely still make some good stuff on here. But uh, honestly, Shigoki's fashion is kind of meh for a lot of the, the outfits I made. And I've made plenty of outfits on it. Definitely think it could be a little bit better. Next, we're moving into the B tier. B tier is pretty much like, yeah, you see some nice ones. Yeah, there's some shit that the character has. That's just kind of what it is. Uh, I mean, it's it's they've got some good fashion. They've got some bad fashion. You, you tend to see some people rock both on the uh, on the battlefield. So first up in there is we're going to go with BP. Uh, honestly, I feel like BPs result to like using three different outfits and I, I can't really uh, show you too many of them as uh, well. My 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 lack of black prior playing is uh, pretty, pretty high. I'm not a huge fan of him. Uh, the shields again are pretty cool looking on BP. That's probably the main thing. But I feel everyone uses the like the skull one or the or the square helmet or they just rock no helmet and play urza bet which is a is blasphemous to begin with so um a lot of them look the same it's, they just go for the edgy look and uh it's you know some of them look good some of them look like shit so that's my my thing with bp next in the b tier is griffin and griffin ha is kind of a weird case because he has like fashion from every single faction uh the thing though is is like when you put it together on him uh just from i don't have too much on here but when i did it in the uh early access that i was able to play where i had all the fashion stuff on here uh there was some nice ones don't get me wrong but uh it kind of looks out of place on him like it just looks like he shouldn't be donning a lot of that uh a lot of the different outfits that he is so it's kind of weird but some of them do look nice but uh sometimes it's just like who who are you it's just a mishmash of factions thrown together, and I think that's kind of weird sometimes, so that's why he's in the B tier. Next in the B tier, we have Lawbringer. I think I had Lawbringer in S. Um, don't get me wrong, does have good fashion, but I think a lot of Lawbringers look the, the same when you're going there. When you're going and uh, fighting, they use a lot of the same uh, ornaments and stuff. I think this is one of the most popular ornaments even that I have on there, so I'm just falling into that stereotype. Um, and then I see this one a lot as well, the three warriors. Um, but in general, yeah, everyone's going to rock some sort of, it'll be some sort of bright color usually, usually have a cape on, right? That's just all how a Lawbringer is and some, some, one of those ornaments on there. So, I mean, like Lawbringer does look good. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's just, you know, you don't see too much variety. I feel next up we have Zerk and I know my Zerk kind of looks like D tier to begin with, but, uh, one thing, you know, again, is that he is one of the better looking Vikings. I feel once you get him to hire his weapons look nice, he can get some really cool helmets. Uh, but me myself, I can't really show off too many of them because, uh, well, I, I, I don't have them. Some of his early helmets, like you see right here are kind of garbage. Like, don't get me wrong, but once you get to some of the legendary stuff, it looks pretty decent. Uh, just unfortunately, I don't have too many of it. And from Zerks I've seen, I've, I have been like, oh, that actually looks like a really cool Zerk. Like if it's like a white and gold one, uh, I find those ones to be pretty nice or just in general, just using some good colors. But uh, like I said, Zerk obviously does fall into the fact of having some shit on there. So I can't put him any higher than B. Next up, we have Orochi. I mean, Orochi has some cool stuff. I always found that uh, a lot of Orochi's helmets weren't the, the the greatest. He has like that one that looks like a freaking alien, uh, like, a, like a xenomorph in the back. Uh, I don't know if I have that one unlocked, but uh, if you know, you know. Um, and in general, uh, I've never been too big of a fan of his helmets. Uh, they're, they're okay. He definitely has some nice weapons though. His katanas do look pretty nice indeed. Uh, chest pieces, again, a lot of samurai chest pieces kind of suck. Uh, just in general, uh, it's a lot of either like wood or wood with spikes and that, you know, Orochi's just the same, you know, it's like, do you want spikes or do you want no spikes? Uh, essentially with your, with your order of for, for your character. But, uh, I definitely think Orochi's don't look too bad. It's just that 
I wish they had more options. Now we have the Aramusha next. Now, Aramusha, Gucci flops. He does have good fashion. Don't get me wrong. You can make some pretty fucking nice outfits with the man. But uh, I think I, I think I had him in B last time too, but he's had some really nice stuff. He got new armor, which at first I, I, I thought was good, but the more I like wore it, I, I found that it just looks like kind of poorly textured hair. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. It didn't really give that straw appearance. Uh, some of his new helmets are nice, but like, you know, stuff like that doesn't look that good. Uh, it's really just about the dangle chips. If you run dangle chips, if you want, if you run the Gucci flops, you're in a good spot. But, you know, if you run, you know, fucking weird, weird wet hair with uh, one of the new chests that give you the round flops, you can't be doing that. And, you know, some of his just new stuff, I was happy for him to get new fashion, but it, it kind of let me down, to be honest. So that's why he's in B. Now we have Nusha as the final character in the B tier. I think most of the Wulin have pretty nice stuff because they do a good mixture of like cloth and metal and a lot of the materials show up better on metal and uh, having some cloth on there is like good accent. Uh, honestly, you can see some pretty sick Nushas out there. You just don't see too many of them. Again, I think some of her helmets are pretty meh in general. So uh, that's that's one of the things. And her hook swords don't really stand out too much, uh, just the, the way you look at them. She does have some nice chest pieces though. I think her like actual armor parts are pretty nice besides her real uh, her helmets. Some of them are kind of bleh. but uh, her hook swords I wish had a little bit more uh, variety in kind of how, how they looked and whatnot, but Nusha still has decent fashion, don't get me wrong. I think most of the Wulin do. And now we're moving into the A tier. The A tier is where you're like, wow, these people, for the most part, look pretty freaking sick. You know, they're pretty good. Uh, definitely have some, like, one little thing that might hold them back from putting them into the S tier, but for, you know, the most part, all around, pretty solid. And first up in that list is going to be Centurion. Centurion's main fallback is that pretty much all cents look the same. Uh, when you go on there, it's like, yeah, if you see two cents right next to each other, you'd probably be kind of hard to spot the differences. Like, why does no one rock like fucking guy Vinny from the Bronx? I would never see anyone use this helmet. I don't know which helmet I usually see uh, because I don't know if I even have it. But uh, there, there is a helmet that people like to use, like one of these ones type type of style. I feel a lot of people use. But uh, yeah, cents lo look pretty much the same. You, uh, you have decent chest pieces with like the metal and the capes. You obviously want that. Um, and like there's just not that too much variety in there and like some of his other chest pieces like these ones they just kind of don't look that great so you usually use some sort of different metal one that has like just a different engraving or embossing to it so that kind of makes them look very very similar in their appearance but while they are similar they still look nice so I, that's why you have to put scent probably at least in a because you know the colors do pop and he does have some nice stuff he has nice swords as well good ornaments so in general scent's good but he's not at the top next up in a we have glad i honestly think glad has some pretty nice stuff uh some of the helmets are a little lackluster i will admit uh i feel you know just in general some of them don't look that great uh and you know like the bug ones i'm not a huge fan of like especially that one. Oh no no thank you won't give me that uh but he does have some cool ornaments he definitely uh the chest pieces and arms are a little you know not not as good but i mean it's what gladiators wore so you can't really judge that too harshly definitely has some really cool looking tridents and uh bucklers though so i i have to give some some props for that some of them do look really really nice and i have seen plenty of very good looking glads and again you got some good ornaments on there that you can run with i mean i'm personally a fan of the ram's head uh that one looks really nice and you know there's just there's a lot of other ones that have like plumes and stuff and you get some good you get some good variety on glad so that's why he's an a but you know just a couple a couple more uh decent maybe like chess pieces or whatever and he might be in S. next up in a we have highlander i think highlander is the highest rated viking i have i find that you get a pretty good amount of decent looking highlanders uh just in terms of like the different hairstyles that you can get with the helm uh having uh the the, the chest piece is probably like the weakest part because it's more you know it's usually some sort of, some form of like kilt that he's wearing but the the weapons look all really really sick uh and they're long and huge so you definitely can see them when he's spinning around and slashing you in the fucking mouth and i find that to be his strong suit is his weapons and his headpieces uh, i find those are the, the nicest the the arms and uh the arms and the chest pieces are kind of you know yeah, eh, mediocre to an extent but you know again it's just the type of material that they did wear um and the, the however like the capes on it do help you know stand out with the color and everything but you know if they had a little bit of different variety maybe on there that you could pull off with him on that i think he might be in the ass but highlander still looks very nice next up in the a tier we have kensei uh i've 
Honestly, I've always wanted to put Kensei in S, but there's just one thing that holds him back. He has great ornaments, don't get me wrong, like Raging Hydra, the antlers, the 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 Yeti helm thing are insane. He's got really good helmets too, really good weapons, uh, but his chest pieces for the most part fucking suck. He has been getting some decent ones, like Tadio's Insight is a good one, um, and some of the new ones like with the Shawasu, uh, with like the bows and everything are pretty nice. But for the longest time, like if I go down here, it was just jacket or no jacket, spikes or no spikes. And at the end of the day, that kind of sucks to be. He's had so many different variations of just like one little thing being changed. I, I wish that, you know, uh, he has been getting some like new stuff that has like, you know, a little bit, a little bit more sauce to it. But in general, like the, if you look at a lot of these, most of them suck. So that's why you can't put Kensei in us. Next up in the A tier, we have the Tiandi. Tiandi does has some have some sauce going for them can get some good helms as well you can get some good arms you can get some good weapons uh honestly maybe the thing that i didn't put him in s is because i just hate the character in general but uh uh the some of the chess pieces i will say are kind of kind of bad uh, I, I don't like some of them uh a lot of them uh are decent don't get me wrong it's just kind of whatever look you're going for um i'm not i've never been a huge fan of like the uh, the cloth ones i didn't like how those ones are uh and uh, however you can get the one with like the cape which is pretty nice but i'm usually a bigger fan of the metal and like some of these ones aren't aren't my favorite so if they had a little bit better chest pieces and they weren't screaming at me all the time maybe they'd be an s and finally in the a tier we have shaolin now shaolin i think is pretty underrated in terms of fashion uh main thing that i don't think is like super super good for the most part on shaolins are the staffs i feel like the staff doesn't really uh, stand out too much uh, and some of them are pretty basic and you know you, you really don't get to appreciate some of these smaller pieces on there but definitely the helms are great you got you know got monkey Ooh, you got old man with the with the thing you got the other old man with the thing uh, and then you have other monkeys as well you know you got you know old angry monkey you got uh, it's cursed orangutan you know just monkey in general that gives him at least a tier right there's no way he could be below but some of the head pieces I do like not like at all like the blonde one is awful in my opinion and some of the uh, you know like this one makes him look like a weird scorpion type deal uh and with with the weapons if they were a little bit better i think he could be an s but uh you know shaolin does have some sauce to him don't don't sleep on it and finally we move into the s tier the s tier are the tippity top the pinnacle of the fashion world the four fashion icons that you want to look up to all right again my opinion you know you don't got to get upset about it uh and in general i just think that they look good uh for the most part most of them look good you won't usually find too many that are just like Ugh, gross disgusting uh unless the person's like super low rep uh for the most part they're just gonna look good and starting off with that is going to be warden warden i have a, a thing I, I wanted to put them in a because a lot of wardens like do look the same and use like the same shit with like the you know edgy spikes and whatever the whatever this ornament is i'd have to find it though the the, the crown of thorns thing I, I i don't know where it is you guys know what i'm talking about you've you go into a game with a warden they're more than likely going to be wearing it uh they they use those quite a lot and i think that's probably what they use the most um and in general i think just a normal knight character like a very basic you know knight true and true type character is gonna look good regardless so you do have good swords you do have some good uh some good helmets you have some good weapons and i think for the most part uh not too much of the warden looks bad uh, there are some helmets that I don't like that like these ninja looking ones. I don't know why I call them ninja ones, but uh, yeah, these ones I hate. But in general, I think most wardens look decent when they're out there. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's it's kind of a toss up between A and S, but I just think S is probably, a, you know, might be a better spot for warden. And next up in the S tier, we have the warmonger. Warmonger, let me tell you, it seems like she was created to just have materials look good on here. Because, like, all of these metals look just insane, and you can do some really, really cool stuff with uh, any of the materials that you end up getting for her. And I, I was honestly pretty impressed with the uh, the fashion when I did the early access. Um, like, I don't have all of the helmets, but, you know, having some of the ones with the variants of the Apollyons, like, some have the the antlers on it in general the the weapons look good on her i think her chest pieces can look good too with depending which one you uh end up you know putting together uh, i just think warmonger together is yeah, i think it's just built you know pretty good for fashion I, I i you know i hate saying it because i hate the character but does look good i will say next in the s tier is going to be nabushi however my nabushi probably looks like it's a c tier if you get a high ranked nabushi uh like high rep who has gotten the legendary gear my goodness mwah, the the just beautiful colors that can come through on this character uh in general 
uh the weapons can have some really really nice stuff like look at that pink that looks really really good i know that's like an event one but she has some really nice stuff you, you know can take my word for it i just don't have enough of the gear to kind of show it off uh some of her helmets do look much better uh at the low rep they're kind of shit i will i will admit to that like what is that that is that is stuff of nightmares but uh as you get like a higher repped up nabushi it looks pretty filthy i will say uh maybe the one thing dragging them down might be some of the chest pieces uh but in general, I think Nabushi looks super, super clean. And next up in the S tier, we got the Jang Jun. What do you want? Do you want the Juggalo King or do you want Mr. Freaking Cowboy? Let me tell you, you got options. Jang Jun, I think just looks good in general. Good, good helms for the most part, right? Some of them aren't that great like this one, not a huge fan of, but he has some really good freaking helmets. He's got some good chest pieces too. Like I said, the Wu Lin probably went out if you had a faction war of fashion. The Wu Lin probably win that. Uh, the, the arms, again, they just tie in with the chest pieces and then his weapons freaking huge, but you can get some really cool head pieces on it. Some good color going in on there. I like JJ a lot. I think, you know, he's a big man, so he's got to have a little bit more cloth to him and you can definitely see that he's getting some of the finest threads. Uh, I I've always, uh, liked his fashion, which is why I do have some, you know, nine reps on him. Uh, but yeah, I think I don't think you can put JJ, you know, any lower than A, but uh, I, I have him as S for me. And finally, the last character in the S tier is none other than Mr. Jean Hu. The character I think has the best fashion in the entire game. Uh, first off, this pernicious cinder chest piece is, I think, the nicest chest piece in the entire game due to the fact of how good you can make uh, different uh, outfits with it how the material actually changed the metal so you can do a ton of different things on here if you really wanted to it looks absolutely incredible uh the weapons might be the slight downfall on jean hu if you wanted to dock anything but he does have really good helms as well that you can choose from uh that to, to have but like the chest pieces themselves i think are so good like if we go through this pernicious cinder obviously looks good but then you also have this one that's got the dragons on there that change color that's pretty sick you know, you have more ones with the gold plating on there that looks dope. You have more with like the little silk in the back. It's just, it's just an endless supply of drip. So much drip that it's not even, it's basically like a running water faucet. Okay. It's not even a leak anymore. It's just like a fucking, the pressure is built in a pipe has burst. That's the drip going on with here. It is just so, so nice. Like I said, he does have nice swords, but uh, that might be his slight downfall. But at the same time, when you're just looking at this man right here, like, if I, if I go to my, my outfits, right, outfit one, it's got that same one, purple and gold, royal, looking like that, fancy, very nice. We got this one with the gold, red, and black. I think that looks sick. And then I went for even a little different one here where we got that dragon on there, got the color changed to blue with the cobalt, and he's just he's just got that style, all right? And at the end of the day, I think Jean Hu wins the fashion award. I don't know what what he does if he doesn't get like a special medal or anything he's still in the s tier but he is my personal favorite um and that should do it for the uh the list in general that should be all 28 characters let me know what you think personally about these uh characters and if they uh if what where you would put certain characters if you would put them higher or lower uh i'll put the main list up here on the screen real quick and uh again like i said if we can hit some of those like goals i'll be more than willing to uh do some of these in the future for you guys i appreciate you watching and taking the time and uh, I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.